Warning, the following video has not been approved by the Comic Code Authority, and is intended for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another little special episode from The Comic Assassin. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing. I got a little small haul from the Feebay, as well as I'll be opening up the, I believe it's the August Pop Culture BAM box. I've done a few of the BAM box um, openings so far. This is a box I didn't intend to order. Uh, I, just, I didn't skip it in time, but I got it anyway. So let me know what you guys think. Um, we're going to start with this guy first. This is my small eBay haul. I went ahead and opened this one up, guys. I haven't oh, checked out the books yet, but man, when I saw this box, I was a little questionable. Now, you can see, like, there's still, there's like, it was just so taped up. The box wasn't intact, but I was happy to find that it is all there. Um... This looks better than what was on the outside. So, if this is just a small haul, there's not anything major in here. Um, but it's a bunch of X-Men books. Alright, what's... Okay. What is that? Uh, okay, I'm not sure about this last one, but we'll start here. Like I said, it was just a haul. I, I think I spent maybe maybe less than $5 for all these books, plus shipping and handling. So I'm underneath $10 for the whole lot. There was a few that I saw that I just could not pass up. Some are bagged, some are boarded. Yeah, so. But you get what you get. Here we have X-Men Unlimited. 29. Like I said, the bag's all messed up, but I usually rebag and board all my stuff anyway. Uh, Uncanny X Men 308. Uh, I'm going to save this one. This is one of the reasons why I bought the lot in the first place. Uh, X Men Adventures number 5. Once again, not bagged and boarded. Age of Apocalypse, X-Men Unlimited, 26. So a lot of these are just kind of filler books. I'm going to hold that one aside. X-Men 2099, number 6. I didn't even know there was any 2099 stuff in there. I'll hold that one. Here's X-Men 2099, number 2. Uh, X-Men 28, I'm digging this cover. Who doesn't love a Sabretooth cover, right? Sabretooth, Jean Grey. Loving that. Another X-Men 29.9, number 3. And then we have us number 8. Going on with number five. Let me put this down here. Number five. That's just X Men. And here we go, X Men number one. Like, <laughs> um, I do have this issue. I just don't think I have this one cover, but I do have this issue. Uh, going on. All right, here's. Uh, X, the Uncanny X-Men 314. Uh, X-Men number 5. That's some Wolverine Omega Red goodness right there. Uh, back to some Uncanny X-Men. We got 310. And then 313. Then we have just X-Men 32. Looks like we got some Psylocke going on there. Uh, 
uh, X Men Unlimited uh, Blood Scream. Uh, I'm assuming this is issue number nine. It doesn't have a number on there, but I'm looking at the, the, the label. Looking at the barcode. I think that's issue number nine. X Men number 10. Actually, this is X Men 2099, number 10. Like I said, I'm not really big in the whole 2099 thing. I never really was. Some more X Men 29. We have 12. And this is interesting. Uh, all right, let me. I'll get to this one next. So I didn't know. I don't know what this is, but I'll figure it out. Um, X Men. Uh, Uncanny X Men. Number. This is 318. But yeah, but so, and I have three more that I got from this slot. Actually, four more. This one is X Men twenty nine, uh, twenty nine nine. This number nine, but it comes in this big uh, bag, and it comes with a poster, I guess. So it's a Sega Subterranea Game Tips poster. So yeah, it's still in the bag. That's kind of cool. I mean, I, I like things that are poly bag. But the main reason why I bought this lot was for these guys right here and that comes to the, the phalanx covenant um, these books kind of started heating up a little bit based off what's going on in the x-men hickman run so this came with uh, x-men number 36 got the little hologram on the left hand side there actually on the right hand side uh, 316 this is uncanny x-men 316 and then 317. So that was kind of the main reason why I bought the lot, just because I know these books are kind of heating up. But man, I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, about around 24, 24, 25 comics for for less than 10 bucks. You know, some of them are fillers. I, you know, I'm, there's some of these I probably already have, like especially with the X Men number one. I already know I already have that issue. I'm not sure if I have that exact cover, but yeah, I mean for for 10 bucks, you know, they're not in the greatest condition. All of them need to be rebagged and bored, but I'm not disappointed. So yeah, that was my small eBay haul. Cause yeah, especially you can find like you know. A good group of books for really just you know for less than a dollar a piece. In this case, you know, I'm talking about less than fifty cents a piece. So I'm excited about that. Um. So yeah, next we'll get with my uh, Bam box. Now, Bam box. They do a horror box. They do a pop culture box. This is the pop culture box. Um, I'll leave a link down and below that if you want to use, you can use it. You'll get some money off your first subscription. Um, if you're interested, I'll get a little bit back in return. Uh, the franchises this month were The Flash. Uh, let's see, The Flash, Rambo, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. And they came out later saying that there was going to be a signed mask in here. And I was all in it with the signed mask. Um, the upcoming month, so what's coming out this next month with the pop culture box is they have um, Joker, like from the, the new movie Joker, Firefly, and Iron Man. And I believe they've already announced that there's going to be a signed, um, vaulted Funko Pop. So I'm not really into the, the pops that much, um, even though that last one I got from Shazam, that was pretty cool. But yeah, let's just jump into it. Uh, this one was heavily delayed. Um, I think the horror box from last month was even more heavily delayed. Okay. So like usual, you got your black tissue paper. Alright. Now I'm already feeling the mask. And I already know which mask it is. And that makes me freaking excited. Alright, I already know what mask it is, just feeling from it. 
But let's let's try to do that one last. I think that one might be exciting. Um, let's see if I can find the pin first. Usually these always come with a prop, a pin, um, some fan art, and then something else kind of special. It might be another uh, like an autograph uh, print or something like that. All right, so here's here's the pin. Okay, and this, so this is from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. So if you can see that, that's the um, Abe Lincoln drinking a, a slushy or something like that. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm not a huge pin guy. Um, I actually saw, I actually watched the videos for the horror unboxing. I don't watch any videos for the boxes that I get because I like to have the surprise. Um, but the pin they had in the horror box was Terrifier, you know, Art the Clown, and that one looked freaking amazing. Um, this one's pretty cool. I mean, for, I didn't know what else they would do for Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure besides a pin, uh, maybe fan art, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Put that there. Now there's a big, there's a big rolled up piece of, of paper of some sort, the mask. Um, let's just, let's get this rolled up thing. I'm not sure what this is. Alright. Huh. Now first off, this is cool, but I'm confused. So basically, it's a big print of Beetle Bailey, which is an old, you know, an old comic strip by Mort Walker, and it's numbered, and it's, it's numbered, so this is 453 out of 500. Um, I mean, I read Beetle Bailey, you know, back in the old news, newspapers and whatnot. Um, I'm not a huge golfer. If I was a golfer, this would be extra cool. But yeah, I don't, I'm not, uh, first off, this wasn't, had anything to do with any of the, the franchises that they listed. So I'm kind of confused of what this actually is and why this is in my box. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of cool. You feel like old, like old new uh, comic strips? The only thing is, things like that, with that kind of size, they're kind of hard to frame. It's kind of awkward. You know, have to go maybe get some more, more professionally done. But yeah, but it's numbered. But I didn't see any autograph. It says it's a comic strip art publishers. Um, yeah, that's that's all I see with that. But hey, I, I'm not going to complain. Anything comic related, even if it's the, the old comic strips, I'm cool with. All right, like I said, I'm going to save the mask for last. What else can I find? All right, I'm feeling something. All right, so I got a one-up card. All right, so a one-up is basically when you get an upgrade. This could be you got the a variant of a pin. Um, the pin's not numbered, so therefore this isn't the variant one. So maybe what I just opened was the one-up, or maybe uh, the art print will be the one-up, or the autograph, or whatever. I really don't know. But basically, you're, you're getting a one thing up from what everybody else gets. All right, let me go ahead and do the print. Okay, and so this is my one up, and basically it looks like we got some like uh, some reverse flash stuff kind of going on here, or the Scarlet Speedster. All right, so there you go. There's some flash goodness right there. This is number sixty three out of five hundred. So this is fan art. This is done by let's see, Chuck Harbor is the artist for this one. See, so yeah, that, that's pretty cool. You know, like I said, I'm not the, the hugest Flash fan, but this is definitely one that, I could, that can make it up on the wall. And it's it's simple, it's not too crazy, and I kind of dig it. They, they went simple with this one, which sometimes I don't like. For this one, I thought it worked. But yeah, that's pretty cool, y'all. Alright. Um... So I, I feel another piece of paper, which is probably the spoiler sheet. I don't feel anything else. So let's get on with the mask. And like I said, you can't feel this mask and not know what it is because it's a Batman mask, right? I felt those horns and I got excited, but 
Um, there's an autograph on top, right up top here. But who signed it? Um, all right, this is signed by Roger Craig Smith, who voiced Batman in numerous video games and TV shows. Okay. Um, I mean, that's cool. When you fill a Batman mask, you know it's going to be a signed Batman mask. You know, I think we all hope that it's going to be like, uh, you know, one of the actors that played Batman. Um, this is a voice actor, which I have my mixed feelings about voice actor autographs. But it's not cool. I mean, I mean, it's, just, I mean it's not bad. Um, yeah, let's, let's look this guy up real quick. Man, let me get on here. I'm going to look this guy up. Let's see what this guy's done. So what's his name? His name's uh, Roger Craig Smith. Sorry, y'all. I don't normally get on my computer when I'm doing these videos. But I'm going to here. Alright. Alright, there's his... There's his Wikipedia. Let me go down and... Alright, so it looks like this dude, he's been in a lot of stuff. He's done, um... He was Sonic the Hedgehog, the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog in Wreck-It Ralph movies. Um, he was the voice of Captain America, Steve Rogers, in like the, the Iron Man Captain America Heroes Unlimited animated series. For Batman, he was in the Batman Unlimited um, Animal Instincts animated uh, movie. He was the Batman in Batman Unlimited Monsters, Monsters Mayhem. And also the Batman Ninja back from 2018. So yeah, he's played the voice of Bruce Wayne, Batman, and the last of the, I guess, some of the latest, um, some of the latest animated, at least the child versions, uh, animated movies that he's come out with. Oh, he was all, he was also in regular show. Oh! He played Frank. Frank Jablonski in the fast food guy. Frank, Frank, Frank is a, uh, Sorry, I'll let me some regular show too. Frank was Margaret's dad, right? So Margaret, who's like the, you know, the red, the cardinal looking bird that Mordecai is always hit, you know, has a crush on. That was her dad, like her human father. So yeah, that's cool. I mean, yeah, I, I dig it. I dig it. All right. Like I said, I'm just kind of off with a lot of this stuff. So, oh. Okay, so here's an attention. Attention Bammers. You will notice that there's an item on the spoiler sheet that is not in your box. See, that's right. There was no rainbow stuff in this box. This is due to the quality of the product delivered not being up to our standards of the boxes we want to send to you. So, to make sure there were no further delays, we replaced it with an extremely limited edition item. They are all different, numbered in smaller batches. These are from various comic strips and extremely collectible. Okay, um, apparently, I guess they did headbands, so for the Rambo, they did the Rambo headbands. I guess some people did get those, they said they threw some of those in some of the boxes. Um, but if you happen to be one of the select few who got one, please head to Facebook um, and join the contest. So let's, get, let's do the spoiler sheet. So basically, I guess they got a bunch of the product, they weren't proud of it, so instead of putting out a bunch of shit, they put in something cool. Like that Beetle, I guess that Beetle Bailey um, print was the extra item I got. So hey, I'm cool with that. Alright, so here's the spoiler sheet. Um, for the, there's the mask. So for the prints, you could have had the regular Flash, or you could have the Scarlet Speedster over here. Um, either one would have been cool with me. There was kind of simple. Um, I like that. For the pins, there was three different variants. Um, you have Abraham, you have Napoleon, and God, I can't remember who who that is off the top of my head. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna hit me at some point. Um, they, of course, the Rambo's headband prop replica. So it's supposed to be a prop replica of the headband they were gonna be giving away. But they also have a giveaway. So if you did get this box, they have a. Um, Bruce Tim signed Batman, the animated series Phantasm Funko Pop. So, if you go to their Facebook page, you have a chance to enter that, if you're a subscriber to them. So yeah, overall, I'm, I'm actually pretty pleased with the box. This is one that, like I said, if you subscribe to the box, it's only... 
I think 26 bucks for the for the month, but then it's like seven bucks for shipping and handling. So you're you're, you're less than thirty five dollars if you're within the within the U.S. Um, but if you use that link I would sent below, I think it gives you like five dollars off your first box. But you have to go in and afterwards either cancel your box or you can skip a month. So they usually announce their and their they usually announce their new franchises at the very end of each month, and it like. So say September 1st or August, October 1st will be your renewal date. You have a chance to go ahead and skip it. I forgot to skip this one, and I probably would have skipped it, but I'm glad I, kind of glad I didn't. Um, I think the print is pretty cool. The sign mask is cool, even though, yeah, I would have wished it would have been someone else. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. The pin was all right. Um, the Beetle Bailey thing, I have to look into that a little bit more. Um, but yeah, that was a, that's a pretty cool print to get. And even though I'm not the huge, the hugest Beetle Bailey fan, I'm sure I can find this one a good home. But yeah, that's my unboxing for right now, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, my mask keeps on slipping, trying to reveal my identity. Can't have that happening. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about these items that I picked out. Uh, for the comic books, if there's any ones that I showed you that had any significance that you guys know of, please let me know, because other besides the Phalanx Covenant stuff, they were just kind of filler books for me. But if you spotted one that had something of interest that I need to check out more, please let me know. With that being said, y'all, this is Drewski, the comic assassin. Thank you for hanging out with me for a little bit. And with that being said, happy hunting.